Hello Cancer and welcome to your soulmate love tarot reading. This may resonate for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus and this is a timeless love reading. So when you view this it should resonate and fit or maybe this is not the reading for you, okay? Um, and we are going to look at your 5D connection with your soulmate and then how your 3D relationship plays out this life journey. So let's uh, get started, Cancer. We're going to pull some chakra cards and this could be for a soulmate that you have met or a soulmate that you have yet to meet, all right? Let's see what chakras you are most connected. Oh, okay, so you've got the third eye chakra with a psychic development coming out. And the uh, solar plexus chakra with self-mastery. All right, um, there was, I believe it was Aquarius had um, this card as well. So if... Uh, you know, it's an Aquarius that's your soulmate. You might want to check that reading out. But Cancer, first and foremost, um, very, very spiritual connection. A lot of different things going to happen within this soulmate union that's going to activate your third eye, your spiritual gifts, your spiritual awareness. It's going to shift your perception. This relationship is really going to challenge you and push you into self-mastery in every level, okay? Because you see the chakras there in every single level. So you have the third eye coming through, but also this lets me know that you guys are connected in at every single chakra because you are meant to really push each other into your own personal self-mastery and awaken to your spirit, to your soul, to your spiritual gifts, to energy, to seeing life differently than you ever did prior to meeting this soulmate. So let's pull some tarot to look deeper into your 5D connection as well as your soul contract. That Cancer Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, but everything is fine. So this card coming out in your five uh, five D connection, um, your soul contract. This is going to be a very healing relationship for you. Six of Cups. Oh yeah, you guys go way back in the soul. Three of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. All right, Cancer. So, Ace of Pentacles here. This is written in your soul contract that when you guys come into union, this is going to be a very solid commitment, okay? But also, I feel one of you is really going to give the other something, whether it's uh, like material, financial help, um, be a very good provider. Um, it doesn't have to just be physical, okay? But there's one of you brings a bit more in the material sense, in the material realm to the table initially, all right? And next to that is the Ten of Swords, but everything is fine. So in this connection, um, you have been through hell and back, Cancer, as well as this soulmate of yours, okay? You guys have been through hell and back, with some other soulmates in your lives before you guys come into union with each other, okay? Um, I, I feel there is uh, some cancers where there may be like um, a potential like separation at some point in the union. We'll pull more cards to look at the 3D aspect of things, but what I'm seeing here for most of you is like this is the relationship that you come into that really heals you where um, you might be nervous and have your walls up uh, initially but they just melt them um, 
this soulmate of yours like I'm really feeling your energy right now uh, this to me is is stronger you this ten of swords this three of swords is stronger for you of what you've gone through more so than them it's not to say they haven't gone through things in life um, but it's like one of you will go through a lot of emotional and mental anguish turmoil and pain and one of you it seems like will really struggle financially so the one who goes through all the emotional stuff is the one that I feel has more like financial abundance um, it has more established in the 3d realm okay and the one who did I say that backwards hold on let me back up okay so the one who's broken-hearted or has been through a lot has more financially and then the other one I feel who has not been through a whole lot um, of this like ten of swords three of swords they're not as prosperous or as established in the um, 3d realm okay I think I got it out correctly that time and when you guys come together it's like one of you really brings that uh, stability in the 3d realm and one of you brings a lot of healing energy okay and so what you offer each other the way that you heal each other is very very different but for most of you this is meant to be a, a beautiful connection sorry for that loud car outside a beautiful connection and it's like as soon as we commit you know we're together and that's that and it's healing and um, you know whoever's really been hurt prior to coming into this union is gonna kinda jump at shadows at first and um, you know be nervous and maybe operate a little bit off of fear based energy and it will just take a little bit of time for that to, to dissipate but it will and so with this self mastery the one who is less uh, stable in the 3D but um, is is more put together emotionally their mastery is is to really come into their potential and what they can achieve and create in the 3D realm and the the one of you that comes in with these deep deep emotional wounds and pain your self mastery for that is to evolve beyond it to to heal all the way down into the soul because of the love that's in this connection okay um here with the seven of pentacles there may be times in this union you know where you guys kind of go into like a, a stagnation period um financially but you will always like overcome that okay um, and that doesn't have to be for all of you I just really see like one of you struggling financially one of you really struggling emotionally and then the six of cups being in the middle of the contract here it's like you both heal that and now for some of you you know it could be where you know you struggling financially and a lot of emotional heartache both of you equal in that and then coming together it's very healing for both of you and um, together you create a much uh, better financial situation for yourselves and you become much more stable and solid in the 3d realm so this soulmate connection you know um, based on the soul contract here is meant to be far more healing for you and it builds you okay because it's very soul based this connection and it builds you both up so let's pull a few more cards to look deeper at the spiritual aspect of this connection So we have galactic family you guys are definitely um, you know from the same soul tribe and this is you both receive quite a bit of guidance from your spiritual teams and that really leads both of you both of you tapped in to uh, 
that third eye energy and it only activates look at that you've got the Buddha a lot of wisdom contained within both of you and then we have this ego death coming together in union is really going to activate your soul wisdom from previous lifetimes and there's an ego death that's going to take place for both of you and this ego death is different like the one who's um been through a lot of hard things in life that ego death is really the shattering of the fear-based energy that has surrounded this person for protection okay it's like their walls are shattered and they see through the third eye and they're not held back by the fear of the ego because of the way this connection activates okay and the other one who I feel struggles financially this ego death means this activation in the the consciousness where they they come into their magic they come into their personal power to really manifest and create in the 3d like you both bring a uh, different strength to each other it's like the exact thing like um what one of you lacks the other one has like you guys are a very perfect fit for each other as far as energies go you really balance each other out and you both have a lot of soul wisdom coming through as the buddha very spiritual uh energies inside of both of you and you do receive a lot of guidance you're led by higher energies both of you are 100 percent cancer no question there okay so um with this as well some of you may identify as star seed and light worker or light worker I should say and when you guys come together you become more aware of that they feel it you feel it you know uh, like you're very in love here but you you see beyond the the 3d experience of romance and and building like you both take each other higher and you come into a different appreciation of life and you know what it's all about so let's pull some cards to look specifically at this 3d relationship how this all plays out Feel like you're the remedy, the medicine for each other. The hanged man, eight of cups, knight of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So you got that Seven of Pentacles coming through twice. And the Seven of Wands. All right. So the one that uh, has a lot of uh, emotional wounds has decided, like, I'm going to put a freeze on love. Like, it's okay if I have to be on this journey by myself. You know, I just need some friends. Love never works out anyways. I'm very blocked. I'm very guarded against love. Okay. And then the other one of you is I'm very blocked. I can't seem to make money. I can't seem to establish myself. I'm always going to be on this journey of lackful energy when the truth is energy is really just blocked. Okay. Blocked from receiving abundance. So you both um, have like, I don't want to call it an issue. I want to call it more of an imbalance like the one that is you know has these emotional wounds they're trying to protect themselves as they heal and they've been very disappointed by a lot of people in life and then you know the other one it's a you know distortion of consciousness in um, you know capability and magic and it's um, like they go back and forth between believing and working hard and then just like oh this is never gonna happen and kind of giving up like um, they don't give it enough time or um, there's uh, something in the subconscious mind that has to be you know activated in order for this person to like really shift and see things differently so again you both are working on um, different lessons before you come into union 
with each other and it's like your strengths are their weaknesses and um, their strengths are your weaknesses and so it blends very well and um, you know this with the Knight of Pentacles here it may be that you guys just start out as friends or like co-workers um, acquaintances where maybe you have some mutual friends all right um, it, it's a very slow moving process initially in the 3d when you guys meet and come together now um, for some cancers I did see where you know we come together but there may be a potential separation and I do see that here and it, it may be that um, you know just because you both have uh, different things you're working on it may be initially that there may be a feeling of incompatibility like you know the one who's struggling emotionally isn't ready to open up um, the one who you know struggles financially maybe it's like they just don't have an enough or they don't feel like they're enough so some of you there will be a separation and then we come back together as friends okay that's how it will come back together is like through a, a, a friend an offer of friendship so let's pull some more cards for you guys it's not that you both don't you know have some like emotional things um, one of you just may have gotten really, really burned financially. And I, it's like you're both scared of this, but it's so true, like, from the first moment. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles, one of you very stable. And you guys are going to build together. Oh, that restriction. Oh we're scared like you guys both really kind of hold back but for different reasons here and um, but you're gonna get there and you're gonna build okay you're gonna build with each other and it's like when you get to this space nothing can get in between you guys it's like we're stuck together for life here it's just getting to that point right it's it's a struggle you both have um, gone through just like different things and maybe even decided like I'm going to walk away from love but then you guys need each other and it's just like whoa you're enough you're enough where I want to try again and you know the person with the financial issue they may have lost everything and it's just like I give up like how do I even begin again you know and the, the person who's really struggled with these emotions, it could be they've just been so hurt. Like, how do I ever, ever open up? How do I ever love again? And um, you both, it's just like you have this magic key for the other. And, and it makes both of you want to try. It makes you both want to love, to, you know, open up. Because there is uh, too much sadness after you meet. It will be too sad to not have each other in your life. Yeah, with the star, you just, you both know there's something more here. And um, you're tired of that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Remember, one of you has a lot of sadness, emotional issues. One of you has a lot of um, financial trouble. But look at what sits in between that. The star. Okay. You guys are very healing for each other. Um, the one who is struggles and it doesn't mean you you know you both don't have different struggles but it's just like it keeps reiterating through this whole reading one of you really struggles emotionally one of you really struggles financially and when you guys come together you see this star you you bring each other to life in, in a in like a, a way nobody else can and you bring parts of each other to life to where this person believes <clears throat> in themselves and and um, really pushes forward and gets ambitious and you know perseveres through their financial trouble and this person opens up emotionally and begins to heal 
you pushing each other into your self mastery okay one of you really needs to heal let your guard down one of you needs to get out of a like poverty consciousness poverty mindset and you guys are the medicine for each other like um you know the the poverty mindset <clears throat> has the uh, words the love and the healing for the broken heart and the broken heart has all the wisdom and advice to get out of the poverty mindset all right so you guys um truly bring to each other what is missing or what is not understood what needs to be activated and there is so much healing that happens for both of you in different ways through this connection that's very interesting that spirit brought it out like that the five of cups and the five of pentacles you know we've been picking up on that but uh also with that ace of pentacles i do feel uh when you both you know are are like okay yeah let's do this it's a really like solid commitment solid connection We have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the King of Swords. There you go. Yup, this is what you guys evolve into right there. Being completely open to love, to giving and receiving love. And right here, I am magic. My mind is powerful and I know what I need to do to make my dreams come true, to manifest what I want in my life. So this is what you guys evolve into. This is pushing each other into that self-mastery. No more financial issue. No more broken heart and sadness. Look at that. That's beautiful, Cancer. Let's uh, pull you some final cards. Yes, very much soul healing to each other and you're grounding each other but in different ways and you bring balance to each other look at that cancer this is a beautiful soulmate connection you both go through some heavy stuff prior which might make this feel a little scary or heavy initially but you guys will find your way and you both will evolve and expand into your highest potential through each other all right so those are your messages i'm sending you lots of love and light take care